Nakikita nyo ba, class? Can somebody affirm if, if you can see that? If you can see the presentation? Parang wala. Naririnig nyo ba ako? Hindi ko kayo nari... Uh, <coughs> naririnig nyo ba ako? Okay, sige. Uh, let's continue. We still have 20 minutes. And that 20 minutes will be devoted to our discussion. No? Okay. So, the goal of an inclusive education system is to provide all students with the most appropriate learning environments and opportunities for them to best achieve their potential. No? And that is according to Alberta Education in 2010. Okay, class? So, anong sinasabi? Ang layunin daw o the purpose of inclusive education system is mabigyan ng ating mga mag-aaral no, ng pinaka-appropriate no, or pinaka-nararapat na learning environment no, na pwede silang mag-aral, pwede silang matuto. And magkaroon sila ng opportunities para ma-achieve nila or ma-develop sa kanila ang kanilang potential. No? So, that's the goal of inclusive education. So, kung ang sagot ninyo ay katulad nito or it has something to do with this uh, statement, then you are correct. No? Okay, next. <coughs> Inuna ko palang inclusive education. No? Sige. So, inclusive education is a learning environment where children with and without disabilities are taught together as equals, no? Walang discrimination dapat, no? Uh, Pare-pareho, pantay-pantay ang pagtingin dapat sa ating mga estudyante. Whoever they are or what they whatever they are. Okay? So, this inclusive education is different from more traditional approaches to the education of children <coughs> excuse me, with disabilities such as the SPED model or the special education model used in the Philippines. So, the SPED involves segregating uh, children with disabilities, no? Or the CWDs into separate classes or even separate schools. Inclusive education is recognized by teachers, families, and policymakers to be a more beneficial way of ensuring that children with and without disabilities have achieved their full educational potential. So, yun class, no? Ang dahilan, no? Bakit kailangan ng inclusive education, no? Because it is beneficial, no? For the children, no? Themselves, if they have these exceptionalities or disabilities. And what is the goal? To achieve their full educational potential. At ma-develop sa kanila no yung skills a certain skills no kahit mga basic skills that they need no in order for them to uh, to conquer the world no or to be uh, capable no of doing the different things that they should do no in the fulfillment of their lives sabi nga natin matuto sila and that is for lifelong learning. Na? Okay. Special education, na? So, yun ang ating inclusive education. Ngayon, special education. In the Philippines, how do we do that? <coughs> okay. 
special education class started in the Philippines in 1907 with the establishment of the Insular School for the Deaf and the Blind, no? A residential school located in Pasay City. Until now, class, the, the school for the deaf and the blind in Pasay City is still existing, no? It was founded by uh, Mrs. Delia Delight Rice, no? She is an American educator. Imagine, <coughs> a foreigner is considerate enough, diba, to establish that particular school for special education. No? She is an American educator. And the school was recognized in 1970 into two separate government special schools. The Philippine National School for the Blind, that's one, hinate, and the Philippine School for the Deaf. So, yung deaf and the, the mute ay pinag, uh, the, the blind, sorry, ay pinag hiwalay. So, yung for the deaf, nandito na yung pipi at dingi. No? So, other governments and private special schools based on categorical disabilities were also set up. Special schools were first set up for people with mental retardation and physical disability and physical disabilities in 1927. No, so uh, cerebral palsy in 1953 and behavior problems and chronic illness in 1962. No, so ito yung mga Ah, uh, ano tawag natin dito, mga sorry. <coughs> mga mga government and private schools related to categorical disabilities, no? Merong para sa mental retardation, meron para sa physical disabilities, meron din yung mga cerebral palsy, no? Uh, they are not hopeless, no? They are not considered as hopeless case. They can still learn, no? Even <coughs> the the easiest way or the easiest skill they can learn, no. And another thing is the behavior problems and chronic illness. So the uh, such schools were few, no. Uh, oh no, it's low, but kailang ha? Paano ba pag post nito? Post mo na. Okay, so, <coughs> so the, the 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 saddest thing is that hindi masyadong accessible, no, yung mga schools na yon, kasi it is situated in Manila, so it will be costly, no, for some of the Filipino learners or Filipino learners with disabilities, kung magta travel sila lang napakalayo, de ba? So, yun ang constraints, no? Doon sa mga established schools na yun for <coughs> special, uh, for the special cases of the students. Okay? So, class, to continue, in 1956, more formal training of teachers for children with mental retardation, hearing impairment, no? <coughs> and visual impairment was offered at Baguio uh, Vacation Normal School. Sorry. Growing social concern for the welfare and integration of people with disabilities voiced by parents and advocates including legislations led to the enactment of Republic Act 50 5250, no? So, meron ng RA para sa kanila, no? Which established a 10-year training program for teachers in 1968. So, nag-train ang mga students for the special schools. And, <clears throat> that RA 5250 led to the admission of children with disabilities into regular public schools, no? So, kapag incorporated sila doon sa regular public schools, ang tawag na natin doon ay inclusive education, no? 
<coughs> from the word inclusion, no? So they are included na in uh, regular public schools and they will also be treated equally, no? Walang may kapansanan, walang hindi when it comes to acquiring their educations. Education. However, without appropriate school and parental support, these children had difficulty coping with the regular classes and soon drop out of school. No? So, <clears throat> uh, without appropriate school no, and the parental support, uh, hindi rin natin, no? the learning will be impossible. Kasi kailangan natin ng support system or somebody who can help us in educating uh, this uh, children with special needs. No? Uh, mahirap kung incorporate natin sila. So, kailangan ng assistance. No? Kasi baka hindi mag-prosper. And then, uh, mag-drop lang sila. No? So, tingnan mo, no? Wala kasing appropriate or kasi nagkaroon tayo ng inclusive education. Isinama, no? Class sa mga, sa mga regular, di ba? Regular public schools or regular public school students. That is why nagkaroon sila ng difficulty. No? And soon, nag-drop out sila. Di ba? So, uh, what can you say about the special education in the Philippines? No? <clears throat> Let us take a look. No? Ayan. Uh, ipapanood ko sa inyo ito, class. Ha? Ay, sorry. Paano ba ito? Ano ba yan? Ayaw niya mag-play. Oh, kailangan natin mag-escape. Ayan. Okay, class, panoorin muna natin, no? Para makita natin ano yung kalagayan ng ating <coughs> ng ating educational system, no? Mag-stop sharing muna ako. Hmm, ano ba? And then we will go to another one which is YouTube Okay Ito Wala. Ayan, dito. Hindi na natin panuorin. <coughs> okay, sorry ha. Ayaw niya mag-play eh.
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 